Hi, uh, in this tutorial, we'll be going to discuss uh, about building the physical, uh, sorry, <laughs> building the business model and mapping layer of your repository. And here we'll be going to see how to build a business model, how to build uh, logical tables, columns, and their sources, and how to define logical joints, how to build measures how to examine business uh, model object properties and how to get the diagram of business model and mapping layer in short we will we'll be going to represent uh, business model and mapping layer as BMM layer please note on this now now we have our uh, physical model ready with us uh, we are going to create a data uh, BMM model just right click on that create new business model and just mention uh, since this is SH schema I'll I'll say it's sales analytics and you can see an option here uh, which is unchecked uh, saying that it is disabled it make sure that you enable uh, you just uncheck that box to enable the BMM model so now we are ready with uh, sales analytics BMM model now if you right click on that you can see a new object and you can you can select a logical table this is one way of creating a logical table uh, in this tutorial, we'll go. We'll be going to use the basic functionalities in the real-time perspective. So what I mean to say is, we don't need to create manually every table and all. So instead, you can use other functionalities such as dragging uh, and uh, using mouse, uh, selecting the fields, etc., etc. So let's see now. So now we need uh, one dimension column, one fact. Uh, see. One thing you need to remember in BMM model is you need to have at least a single fact and single dimension to form a model. So only with the dimensions you cannot build a model and only with the facts you cannot build a model. At least you need to have one fact and one dimension. So here in our, uh, in our physical layer we have one dimension, one fact. Just select the two tables and just drag and drop on the business model. So here now you can see uh, you can see a slight difference in the in the icons see if you see any symbol with the table uh, you can call it as dimension table and there is a another table another icon here you can see an hash uh, signature on top of that icon which represents facts basically a fact uh, table so here also you can change the names as even more uh, with good names with uh, with spaces on now so here i would say dimension let's say i'll give different name product dimension and sales fact or would it be this better in this way sales fact sales dimension product and here you can see all the columns that represent okay to get the di uh, BMM uh, diagram you can simply click on the business model click on the business model diagram click on whole model so now since we dragged both the tables together even the join between them is all, uh, also came into picture but uh, if you manually pull the call, uh, tables to the BMM layer then you have to set a relationship so for, for now I am deleting the join and you can use the same join which is here which is present here but when you use it in BMM layer you will call it as logical join when you use it in the physical layer you will call it as physical join so give you a relationship between fact and sales uh, 
here in this join if you see earlier we in the expression we have uh, given uh, what uh, what is the relationship uh, column that uh, that is established between product and sales but here in uh, in the business model you will be only giving the logical join which won't be having a join condition but but what happens when you query a, uh, these two tables is uh, it will refer the physical diagram and uh, physical tables and it will form a join which is present in the physical join so you can set the cardinality function here and uh, one more advantage uh, in the logical join is uh, uh, you cannot uh, create a left outer join or inner outer join uh, in the physical layer so instead you can use the outer joins from logical join this is one of the typical interview question you may face that's it uh, now uh, see uh, these names are not that much convenient for the user to uh, uh, to understand right so what we will do is basically we will uh, just right click on that we will use a wizard uh, called rename wizard so just select on the wizard and use first letter uh, first letter of each so basically we are giving a condition set of rules to rename these fields so now you can see everything is in caps and underscore is present so now i want i just want to change that so basically change the occurrence of uh, underscore into space change the first letter of each word as capital so for now i'll be going to use this too Oh my bad. Uh, let's put init column as well. Uh, sorry, uh, I'll do from the beginning. I'll just rename wizard. Click set all lowercase and then first letter of each. Now you can see the names got changed and here also we will use the same functionality. Select all the columns, right click on that, click on the rename wizard. First you select all the text as lowercase, then each occurrence of underscore into space and then first letter of each word as capital. Click on next finish. Yeah, here. Just ma make sure you have given the join. Yes, you have given a join. And now uh, we are going to build the facts. So here if you see, uh, these are generally invalid columns when it comes to fact table. Because a fact table will represent only the facts which are present. So when we present to the user, end user, our business user who will be going to create the reports, we won't show uh, this id columns to them which is of no use for them so for now i am removing uh, id columns so i have two measures here one is amount and one is quantity i'll just rename the quantity sold as quantity and amount as sales amount so now we have to do one more a little setup to make this quantity and sales amount as a dynamic aggregation. So what I mean to say is let's say if you want to see product uh, product let's see if, if you have selected a single product and if you want to see a quantity related to that you can easily get because the lowest granularity of the fact is present at the product. So what if uh, what if if you want to see the sum of quantity for each category, then you need to dynamically aggregate the information which is present in the quantity column. So dynamically to set that representation, uh, just double click on the quantity, 
there is a tab called aggregation and select the default aggregation as sum basically here i want to sum the quantity which is present here so similarly we'll we'll go for aggregation sum for the sales amount so that's it we are done with the business model uh, and to get the diagram like we do we'll use the same thing whatever we did in the physical layer just click on the collapse button click on the diagram and take your screenshot and paste in your documentation that's it now in the next tutorial i'll show you how to create the presentation layer